Therefore, the hardest language for me is Languages with Daniel. Hello, welcome back to Languages with Daniel. Today we are going to talk about an interesting topic about which one is the hardest language to learn. So, first of all, we must clarify what does make a language easy or hard to learn. There is not something just as a hard language to learn, because a baby is able to learn any single language, it doesn't matter which one. The thing is that when we are already adults, some languages are easier and others are harder. Here comes the question, what does make a language hard to learn? We must consider two main factors that determine how hard or how easy it's a language for us. The first factor is the closeness with our mother tongue. You know, some languages are closer to our mother tongues. The closest is a language to our mother tongue. It will be easier for us to learn to know words and so on. For example, if you already speak Italian, Spanish will be easy. For example, amigo, Spanish, amico, Italian. But for example, let's take Finnish, ustava. It's totally different. So your brain will have a new challenge to memorize different words. And the second factor that we must consider is how complex is the structure of this new language? For example, in English we say I am with you. In Finnish see, we will say Me naolen sinun kansa that it could be literally translated as I am of you with. Changes. If the structure of this new language is really different to our own language, it will be harder for us. But for me, what makes a language really really hard is when there is a negative atmosphere. What do I mean with a negative atmosphere? There's no content or at least there's no content that you like. That means there's no music, there's no videos, there's no movies, series that you like or just none of them. Second, the native speakers are shy, reserved, and they are not really willing to help you. Therefore, the hardest language for me is Swedish. But Daniel, Swedish is not that hard. If you speak English, probably you will learn in a year Swedish perfectly. Yes. The grammar of the Swedish language is not that hard, but the atmosphere is really, really negative. What do I mean? Swedish people are shy. They are not so open to talk with strangers. And if you are not able to practice a language, you will not master it. Besides that the Swedish population is shy, they have a really high level of English. It's really common, or this is my experience. I used to write some people like, Hey, ja heter Daniel, ja lär mig svenska. Vill du hjälpa mig? And <laughs> their answer were like, Oh, that's great! But no, you shouldn't learn Swedish. Why for? Let's talk in English. And the second thing is that there's not content. But Daniel, there's 10 million people that speak Swedish. Yes, of course, there's movies, videos, podcasts and so on, but nothing that it's really interesting for me. So it's hard to find something in Swedish that I really like. Before we continue, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And Swedish is not the only language. Many Nordic languages are kind of the same. Norwegian, Danish, even Dutch. We are facing the challenge of learning any of these languages. We need to be more creative. Of course, there are people that are willing to help you, but you must do a better research. It's not impossible, but it's not that easy. 
So in general, it doesn't matter how hard or how different is a language from your mother tongue. As soon as you are exposed to a positive atmosphere, you will learn that language easily. Tell me your experience in the comments. Have you ever tried to learn any language with this type of challenge? Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you the next time. Bye!